everyone. How are you guys this morning? This is Bina, Ruby's skinny pig. She is going to join us this morning for a little bit. Can anyone guess what tomorrow is? It is Good Friday. I'm wondering if you can tell me in your own words what happened to Jesus after the crowds cheered for him and yelled Hosanna and put palm branches down. Can you tell me what happened after that? What is the story of Good Friday? I want you to press pause on your video and tell your mom in your own words the story of Good Friday. And I'm going to put little Bina back into her cage. All right, I am back. So were you able to do it? If you want, you could videotape yourself and send it to me on Messenger. I'd love to hear you tell that story. It's actually a very sad story, um, isn't it? Jesus, a lot of bad things happened to Jesus uh, following um, all of the excitement of coming to Jerusalem. He was betrayed by one of his closest friends. He was arrested. He was put in jail. And then the people in charge mocked him. They laughed at him. They dressed him up like a king. And they put a crown of thorns right on his head. They hurt Jesus. And in the end, they actually killed him. They were so mean to him. And it just makes my heart really sad when I think about everything that Jesus went through. And I wonder if it makes you sad too. It's a hard story to hear. But do you know what Jesus said to them? How did Jesus respond? What did Jesus do? Jesus prayed to God and said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Jesus had compassion for them and mercy. He was, he was trying to understand where they were coming from. It makes my heart hurt when people hurt each other. On Good Friday, we take a moment and we stop and we tell the truth. We tell God that sometimes we also hurt people. And it gives us an opportunity to say that we're sorry when we hurt people. And then we remember that Jesus also shows compassion for us. Jesus loves us. And Jesus shows us mercy. And Jesus forgives us when we do things that hurt others. So as we prepare for this special day, we want to make something special for our worship service tomorrow. So if you want to follow me, I will tell you about that. So I went for a walk uh, yesterday and I found a lot of different branches and grass. And what I want you guys today do today is to make a crown of thorns out of anything that you have in your house. You could use yarn or rocks, or you could use branches that you find outside or grass or um, anything um, that you have. Um, I actually found some uh, sticks that have actual thorns on them, and they're incredibly sharp. I actually pricked my finger um, when I was breaking some of these branches off. And so all you need to do is start to layer the branches together in a circle. And you don't even have to tie it together. You can just layer them like this. And I even found some berry um, branches that also have some thorns on them. Um, so you just layer them up into a crown of thorns like this. And when, be very careful if you are working with thorns. 
when I pricked myself yesterday, it made me think about um, the time in my life when I hurt people with my words and with my actions and how that hurts people. And sometimes um, I'm also hurt by people's words and actions. And so um, the crown of thorns reminds us that um, how sad it is when we hurt each other. But it also reminds us that Jesus is with us and Jesus also understands and invites us to, when we hurt each other, to say sorry and to make it right. And Jesus also invites us when we're, when we are the ones that hurt, Jesus says, that's not okay. It's not okay when someone hurts you. Um, but then Jesus invites us also to feel compassion and kindness towards others and to try and um, also understand where someone might be coming from. So today we are going to make a, a crown of thorns, just like that. And you can have, put it on your kitchen table or in your living room. And then when we have our Zoom worship tomorrow, we will um, invite you to show that to the rest of our congregation. So I um, hope you have a good day, and I want you to remember that you are the church, rooted in Christ, growing together in faith, and extending God's love.